Well, with last week's cold, forecasters are saying this is only the beginning. Arctic temperatures will continue to move across the country, impacting our weather this weekend. And this specific weather pattern stems what meteorologists call the polar vortex. Mm. Ryan Chopta explains. Winter is now settling in where temperatures will continue to trend below the seasonal norm. And once this Arctic low drops farther south, this will mean dangerous wind chills for Texas and for states farther north, temperatures near or below zero. The term vortex just refers to the counterclockwise flow of air that helps keep the cold air near the poles. Through the winter season, for northern states, you'll see wind chills drop well below zero. And due to an active jet stream, this helps with the transport of cold air. But when you see large dips and troughs and ridges that develop with the jet stream, that can allow uh, big chunks of Arctic air to make it southward into Texas. Now the vortex is around 30 miles above the North Pole. This and Arctic air at the surface work in tandem helping us with winter weather forecasting. Arctic Oscillation Index, it's measuring the surface expression of the polar vortex. And something to remember, it has two phases, positive and negative. When positive, polar air remains locked away across the far northern latitudes. But during the winter, this shifts into the negative phase, pushing Arctic air into the U.S. The negative phase of the Arctic Oscillation uh, represents, if you think about it, an expanded kind of wavy phase of the polar vortex. And it's likely a part of this vortex will branch off over North America later this week, impacting Texas weather around Saturday night, meaning it's going to be a cold end to January. So stay tuned. Ryan Shoptal, Kent's 5.